Hey, hey there, friends. It's Lynn with the Health and Fitness Motivation Podcast. And today, we're going for a little trip inside my brain. That's right. Every once in a while, when you see an episode that says Lynn's brain, that means we're going to teleport ourselves into my brain where I do a free form chit chat about what I'm thinking about all of this health and fitness motivation stuff. So ladies and gentlemen, enjoy this episode of Lynn's Brain. Okay, here I am sitting in the parking lot of an amazing natural preserve. It's actually a really beautiful place. And uh, this week, I made a goal to walk every single day this week. My health has been feeling better, so it's like, I'm going to go for a walk every day this week. Uh, and I know that my motivation is exponentially higher when I have a friend that goes with me because then I'm not going for a walk anymore. I'm going for a hangout with a friend and that works really good for me. And so I started inviting friends and I had a friend set up for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And I was super excited. I was like, yeah, I'm going to rock this. And, uh, my friend for today called and she's like, Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not feeling good. I'm not going to be able to make it on the walk. And darn it as true to form for me, my motivation to go out for a walk just like went down the crapper. Um, (laughs) so, uh, but I promised myself I'd go for this walk. So what I'm doing now is I am forcing myself to come anyway, even though I'm by myself and I'm going to still do the whole walk anyway that I would have done. I'm not going to cut it short. I'm actually going to use some grit and discipline here and force myself. And then when I'm done, I'm going to report back and uh, let you know how I'm feeling. All right. Blah. Here we go. Okay. So <clears throat> I spent five minutes in my car soaking in the sunshine yeah because it's uh 50 degrees out here which is uh, a little chilly for how i dressed excuse me i'm back got that frog out of my throat um so this is beautiful this is so great what was i worried about um i am walking down my path and because i promised myself i'm gonna do the whole route it actually made me go a little more briskly so i could get it down faster um, <laughs> like I said, my brain is not a whole lot different from your brain, let me tell you. And, uh, I'm coming up to a sunny spot, so I might soak in some sun there, but these shady areas are a little bit chilly. Um, so I am about one tenth done with my walk and I'll report back. Okay. Five minutes later. And I gotta tell you, I'm such a schmuck for thinking. Oh, I don't want to go for a walk. I am walking through a field that has literally thousands of daffodils. And as I'm walking through this really cool field with daffodils, I look up in the sky. No joke. Bald eagle. Yep, you heard me right. A bald eagle just silently flew overhead. And what did I think when I saw the bald eagle? Oh, it's just a bald eagle. We see them all the time here. Um... (laughs) <laughs> All right, so the walk continues. <sighs> yeah, I made it. Okay, I feel good. Back to my car. Was it my most favorite walk ever in the world? Um, well, no, but holy cow, I have nothing to complain about. Are you kidding me? Oh. <laughs> oh, I did book it a little bit, though. No. And uh, listened to a podcast um, while I was walking. That helped a lot. Um, I felt weird being in this beautiful botanical garden, though, and listening to this true crime podcast called uh, I Am Not a Monster. Um, (laughs) It's pretty dark um, based on real stuff. So uh, I listened to that, got my walk done. If I did not do this walk, I guarantee you I would have taken a nap instead. I would have been feeling lethargic 
but because I did this walk, I am feeling totally energized and um, just ready to go on for the rest of my day. So, yeehaw, score for Lynn. I did it. Um, now I'm starving. I gotta get some lunch. It's about one o'clock. All right, friends. Um, yeah, that's all I got for you. I hope, uh, you know, you're not alone in this. It's, uh, there is no real roses and rainbow. You'll have it figured out forever. You know that. You know that by now. It's life. It's just real. And, uh, so we do the best we can to have the most enjoyment out of life that we can. And when it doesn't work out, we know, well, at least we're, we're alive and we're kicking. And, uh, it's just part of living. So, all right. I better put my phone down because I am going to drive now. Love you guys. Bye bye. All right. Well, that trip to Bloedel sure was, uh, wonderful. And then, oh, what was that? Tuesday. Um, it is now Friday. Um, so Wednesday I had plans to walk with a friend also, and, um, she had a very legit last minute cancellation also. Um, <laughs> so I did another make myself go out for a walk, um, around the neighborhood. Um, my walk did end up shorter, but I was okay with that cause I taught a fitness class earlier in the day. So, so that felt okay. Um, yesterday was my worst day as far as walking, uh, because the, my walk actually, you could say was around the neighborhood in the grocery store, which, uh, I shouldn't call it a worst day. I still, I still did it barely kind of, sort of, um, yeah, Lynn quit talking about your worst day. You're still doing it. Um, and you're in the middle of withdrawing from Cymbalta and getting yourself off of that and it's going pretty well so you need to chill out and have better self-talk right now it's Friday it's sunny and thank goodness my Monday friend actually texted me last minute and said hey let's go for a walk and um and so I'm in the car right now, driving to my usual spot with my most consistent walker friend. And I'm super excited to do that. Um, and I got to tell you, the thing... Um, oh, wait a minute. This is supposed to be me not talking to people. This is supposed to be me talking to myself. Okay, back to me talking about by myself. I'm really excited uh, about... Well, not really excited. Hang on here. Let me focus. I'm really grateful for this friend of mine and it took a couple years to really get in a walking routine and it ebbs and flows depending um, primarily what's going on in our kids' lives and also our jobs as our jobs um, change. Um, we have more or less uh, availability. So um, hang on, driving carefully past some kids on bikes. Uh, there we go. So yeah, I'm just excited because it's sunny out, finally sunny, 60 degrees. And um, I've got a couple muscles that are Charlie horse in, not quite sure what that's from. I'm on a gravel road if you can hear that now. And, um, and I'm tired, but I know I'm gonna get on a much bigger walk than I ever would have had I gone on my own. And so this is going to be really great. Um, and the one thing is these, these walks have lots of hills, so this is going to be really great. I'm going to meet my buddy and, um, get in some good exercise to kick off the weekend. So, wow, look at that. Nice timing. <laughs> All right, here I go. Do you have the Couch to Active Wix app on your phone yet? You've got to make sure you get it. There's free resources there, content you can't get anywhere else, and it's the easiest way to sign up for services. Download it right now from the homepage of couchtoactive.com. Mm -hmm.